Thank you, Jeff. Uh, Jess and Scaifey. Combined the two names one there, but looking forward to seeing how the first race gets going here. And uh, that's not what you want to be doing on good tyres there, Jordan Love, just locking those fronts up. Cameron McConville has come running down pit lane into the commentary box to join me for this one. Fresh out of uh, another good drive. Did you get a good clean tyre, green tyre on there? Uh, no green tyre for us, but I ran on some tyres that had, you know, done about 10 or 12 laps previously. Okay. So they were they were reasonable. But um, And I think most of the guys that were in the top 10, we were 13th, I think, uh, ran on tyres that were, you know, a couple of laps old from the first session. But all good so far. And uh, looking forward to this one race one of the weekend. It's getting pretty dark out there, so it'll be interesting to see how many of the drivers changed to the clear visor away from the tinted version that they were running throughout this afternoon. BRM 1-2 on the front row. Jordan Love, his first pole position in the championship, sees him alongside the championship leader, Will Brown. Nick Rowe, inside row two, needs a good start, needs to get ahead of Will Brown and start chipping that championship lead back. Harry Hayek, winner of the last round, looking good so far this weekend. Josh Denton's been the fastest rookie all, pretty much when it mattered at least in qualifying. Tyler Everingham, who we ride on board with, has been impressive as well. Cody Donald in his first ever car race. Watch out for him in position number 10. And Jack Smith, who qualified 10, appears to have been set rear of grid. And uh, we're assuming at the moment that um, that has happened because of the accident that happened in the second practice session, get to the bottom of that one. But uh, this is a big race in the championship. Six to go, three here, three at the Gold Coast. Car 99, who's weaving there in the second position, has a 31 point lead in the championship. He needs to try and solidify that lead right now. Confirmation, because the guys who are second and third in the championship are starting ahead and behind him. So very important. Will Brown to get a good start, stay out of drama, finish ahead of Nick Rowe and also Jordan Love. This is set up beautifully, Cam. I'm excited for this. Let's go. Yeah, it's a three-way shootout, isn't it, for the championship this year. And uh, Will Brown should be pretty dialed in. This is his seventh drive on the circuit today. Qualified second in the Toyota 86. In fact, got uh, pipped for pole by a couple of thousands. And he's on the front row here. So second in both in two completely different cars. So Will's got the clear visor on on left of screen there, car 99, as we form up with Tyler Everingham. Just had a chat to Tyler between races. Just they felt like the car was too taily. They made a change for qualifying to preempt the grip of the new tyre. And unfortunately, the car wasn't to his liking. So back in P6 for this one. That's what it looks like off the front row, all the way down to the first corner, lined up alongside his teammate and championship leader. Green flag has been waved. Time to go racing at Sandown. First of three races. One on each day for Cam's Jayco Formula 4. Oh, and Will Brown has got a perfect start. Love goes as defensive as he can, but he is just a lamb of the slaughter out there, and he gets picked off by Hayek, who makes his own mistake at the first corner, and Rowe picks them both up. You know, I think he, he, out, he, he went in really deep, locked them up. I think he got right off the brake to try and get round the corner and just had too much momentum, too much speed on board and then lost the rear. So real uh, strange mistake for Harry Hayek coming off running in the British Formula 4. He's been doing a great job, so he'll be disappointed with that one. And uh, I think he has resumed, albeit way, way back in the field. This will be exciting. Tyler Everingham has a queue no, of cars it. behind him. Hopefully they don't go for a safety car before they get to the top of the hill because I want to see what happens here with these guys. Everingham sitting in the middle. Oh, that was tight between Grove and Fallon. It was never going to work like that. And they get away with it somewhat. Still side by side at the end. Yeah, I think Tyler oh. got a slow run out of turn four and he was a sitting duck, but he's got some leeway there. And Brenton Grove was a little bit of a on a hind end of nothing there on the outside. Oh, they're all pushing hard. Tyre, they really only got that one, one out lap. So probably a lap lap prior, or uh, sorry, lap less than yep. what they normally get in these championship rounds. Now, Harry Hayek has moved from this part of the track, so we're free to go racing here. Now, importantly, Will Brown had a 1.2 second lead on the back straight, and then Nick Rowe found four tenths in the second half of that lap to close it in. That is good, desperate driving on cold tyres by Nick Rowe to try and stay with Will Brown, because he knows that Will will easily get away from him if he doesn't act now on cold tyres. Wow, frantic start.
Jordan Love will be very disappointed with how that one worked out. Just look at the rubber, just way too yeah. much wheel spin. I mean, you are offline there, but I think you had too many revs on board or just dumped the clutch a bit aggressive. So look, Harry, Harry has the lock, oh. lock up and then just gets off the brake and no tyre temp. So around the rear went. I've never seen a Formula 4 car lock the tyres as much as I've seen today. It has to be because it's so cold and slippery out there. Yeah, and the track temp has definitely dropped from when these guys were on circuit at 2.30 for qualifying. So watch this. Lock up, off brake, and just there's not a lot of grip out there. I mean, he was a passenger, really. Once he cleared the brake, arguably got off maybe too much brake pressure, but, gee, just a small, oh. slight error there. And there's just no grip. Once you get a car width off the racing line there, you're gone. Just a lot oh. of gravel and dirt on the track as there is off the track like that. Nice super slow-mo, Lang and Simmons. His father's uh, business, Joe Hayek. So what happened here? Oh, and that would have been lap two. No, that was the opening lap where that happened, so right. And then look at this, so here Grove. Oh. Look, he, he didn't have a lot of options there, to be honest, because he knew he had Conroy on the inside. Good save, but lost a heap of time. And Will had a bit of a moment there as well. Here's a uh -huh. front-on shot. And Joshua Conroy would be a little bit nervous, I would think, the first couple of laps having that accident in qualifying. He's doing well, though. Currently P7. Oh, and look yes. at Will looking in the mirror. He's watching Row. I wonder if he had a slight up miss shift or... Because it just looked like he was watching him, didn't he? He's nervous. He knows who's behind him. He knows this is first and second in the championship. And he knows that he doesn't want to let Nick get any points back on him. And he oh. locks a tyre the right front this time on the Cars Galore entry. It's not the Toyota 86 anymore. And then it sounded like he just missed a shift. All of the pressure is building on the 18-year-old shoulders of Will Brown. Nick Rowe has him in his sights, hunting. He pulled three tenths back last time around. So 15-4-9, fastest man on the track, Nick Rowe. Fastest teenager, I should say. <laughs> well, Nick's our, our elder statesman, isn't yep. he? So, 15-4, uh, Will 15-7. So, Will just needs to put his head down. He knows he's, he's quick. Now that uh, Jordan Love is, is back oh, there in a distant P3. He cannot get his eyes off him, Will Brown. He's just always in the mirror, in the mirror. Genuinely nervous about where that red AGT logistics car is. Another glance, another one. I think he's actually... You can see he moved around up the straight. He's just trying to break the toe a little bit. And this is a big commitment for a young driver over the top here. Look Whoa. at him working the wheel as he hit that kerb. So, yeah, he's just, he says, OK, you're following my wheel path. So I'm just going to do everything I can to break that toe. Even if there's a slight 1K advantage being three car lengths up, he's going to try and weave a little bit, which is in his own right, because Nick's not right behind him, just to make sure there's no toe effect for Nick Rowe up that long back straight here. OK, lap times this time through. Will Brown, the race leader, 115-0. Nick Rowe, 115-0. Nothing in it. Five tenths of a second on the racetrack, but you can see it's just a couple of car lengths. Jordan Love in third. We're hoping that these two go to war. Waste some time. Gives him a chance to catch back up after that tardy start. Patience on the throttle for a second. And he's missed the apex there at four. Oh, look and at this that. has given Nick Rowe a huge chance. They are going to go at it down the back straight. First and second in the championship, and it's only the first race of the weekend. Teenagers approaching 200 k's an hour. Which way does he go? He'll go to the inside. I reckon he, he was out too early in the dirty air, Nick Rowe. He should have stayed in longer. Oh, oh gosh. Maximum commitment over the top here into Danny Dong Road. He's a little bit too far back, so he just... He pulled out, from, you know, as they went through the kink, and I think he should have stayed in under the gearbox a little bit longer, but he had such a good run, he sort of had to pull out yep. and got into the dirty air. That ruined him. And had to pull back in. So, Ooh. Will's really vulnerable now. Nick Rowe's got a fast car. Well, oh, and again, another tardy shift at the exit of 13. And Nick Rowe's going to have a huge advantage down the front straight. Will has to go defensive to the left-hand side, or he will lose the lead. Look at that, just there's a, there's a perfect example of a slipstream for you watching at home. You can see it just get closer, closer. He's up the inside. He should be able to get through here. Will gives him enough room. Yeah. And he's through. Good racing. He didn't argue the point. He knew he was down on speed for that front straight. He's just not driving as clean as we've seen in the past, Will Brown. He's driving like he was in Tasmania. He's a little bit flustered. Usually silky smooth and really relaxed, Cam. He just looks like he's 
trying too hard right now. Probably a little tired. I think he's having his seventh run in two categories for the day. But, um, yeah, look, I think uh, I actually think Nick Rowe's car is just working a bit nicer for him in the race. Could be a starting tyre pressure thing. Now, there's a, there's a reverse. See, Will closing in now with the toe right up over the top late. A little bit of push through there. What a great on board. But Will, uh, Nick Rowe's car just looks a little bit nicer to drive at the moment. And you're right, could be Will's just hustling a little too hard, but he's got a good run here. A bit too far back there, so he needs to... You've got to be careful not to go oh. too quick here. And you know what? That annoying little puddle there <laughs> has been there all day, and it won't go. <laughs> I know I hit it in the V8 uh, in one lap. You just clip it with the right rear, and it really upsets you turn into that last corner making an adjustment to brake bias there. So Will just reaching forward to maybe wind a little bit off the front. We've seen he's had a few lockups. Early throttle, third gear. All the changes of surface. Like a patchwork quilt on the road back there. It's a bumpy ride through this part of the circuit. Nick Rowe needs the perfect lap here to drop the championship leader off his tail. So you can see a little stick it so there's that inside front lock so it's just about to say you can see a little oh, sticker with f on the dash so telling the driver which way to turn for to wind it to the front there it is just to the right of his hands there fills his mirror for a second gives him a little blur of blue to worry about as he approaches the top bro cannot shake the championship leader at the moment this is great this is a really good test of nick rose Ability to withstand the pressure. He's obviously a couple of years older than Will and raced a lot of different cars in his short career, Mark Cars, Speedway. That was very good in go-karts as well. Actually won, uh, what's it called, Supernats up there in Vegas. So would be used to this pressure of having a car right on your tail. He did have a little glance in the mirror there. Will Brown was faster on that last lap. I tell you, what could happen here is Jordan Love, 14.8, fastest lap of the race, only uh -huh. two seconds off here. So if, if Nick Rowe starts getting a little bit defensive and, and blocking slightly, we could have a three-way battle because we've still got six, six laps remaining. Of course, all the F4 races are time certain, but uh, hopefully we get our full distance in with six more laps. Well, the only thing that can make this battle better is another car. And that is certainly what we're hoping for from an entertainment point of view as Will gains dramatically with the toe up towards the top. No passing opportunities showing themselves yet. Really nice run that time. He got on the throttle super early. Got a really good run. He's still not far enough, too far back to try and dive in under there. It's all about the setup onto the straight here. He'll be thinking about turn 11 as a chance. He he doesn't get a good exit out of there, though. Nick Rowe will survive down the front straight, at least for this lap. Let's have a look at the lap times now. 14.7 for Rowe, 14.8 for Brown, 14.6. And another fastest lap of the race for the man in third. Love is on a run. Here he is. The battle up ahead is for the lead. He's getting into a rhythm now as well. He'll be closing with each corner. And as a driver, you see that lead battle and you just keep chasing, chasing, chasing. You just think, I've got to get close enough because if these guys have contact or have an incident, I'm through. But you've got to get close enough. So Jordan Love, if you see that carrot up in front, the dangle of the carrot, we call it. And now, see Nick Rose trying to break the toe a little bit. Move quickly to the right. Now he's moving back a little bit mid-track. <laughs> then he'll move back a bit to the right before he turns in. Whoa. These boys are playing a very expensive and serious game of chicken across the top there. 200 clicks, he gets all the way down to turn nine and right up behind that LED rain light. So Will needs to actually back off a little bit here. He's too close coming in. He needs to get out of it. Oh, he's, he's hit, hit the water. The, he got the that pole. water. That's a much better run. Much better run. What a save though. Had a huge slide. His right rear is wet and slippy. Rowe goes defensive. That's what Will didn't do. But he'll be on the dirty stuff. Go left. Oh. Go left. He's on the inside. You can see he's off the racetrack. They're both going to go get through. And nice move, Will Brown. They'll have filthy tyres. But they prevail. Cracking race for the lead in Formula 4. One of the best battles we've seen in any race. And because of it, Jordan is just about there. All set up for just 
braking a little bit slower into that second last corner or slowing the car up a bit more. But then Nick just hitting Nick Rowe that little bit of a puddle that's been hanging around all afternoon. <laughs> and it's just so annoying. It just upset the back of the car. Now he's got it all to do again. And, and you see he went to the inside over the inside yellow line. Now just to clarify, you can actually do that. It's not like pit exit blend line. You can go right over to the left and you'll always go the inside, which he did, even though he was right up against the guardrail. So awesome. nothing illegal. Oh. oh no, what's happened here? He, he, I think he had a lock up down there in turn nine. And as a result, Love has put the pressure on for second. This gives Will Brown just a little bit of respite. They're all really good mates in this category too, so they'll be loving life when they get out of the cars. This battle's still going on down at turn nine as Grove is chipping away here with Conroy. All three teams in this fight. AGI Sport ahead of BRM, ahead of Dream. And JRD, the fourth team, currently sitting in P5 with Tyler Everingham. So it's just given a little bit of breathing room here for the leader, Will Brown, who's looking to extend that series lead here. Will hasn't won the first race of a round so far this year. All his wins have been in the reverse grid race. It doesn't do him justice for how dominant he's been. And he's driven very clear. Look, he's bolted out in front now. So Nick Rowe's just got, just become vulnerable. So he's just had to, oh, oh. no, he's gone off. See Completely Nick. off. Oh, Nick. He's a dirt track racer. And he's out in the dirt right now. So who's going to get through? Denton gets Denton through. Denton gets through. Everingham's just back there. And also is Simon Fallon. So three laps to run. Oh, such a small... Just lock the inside front. And then look like he locked the right front as well. So let's have a look. This is a good shot from behind here. Watch the left front goes first. Then he just, just got off the brake and just couldn't quite pull it up. So here's a good view. It was just the one, wasn't it? Just that inside front cleared the brake, but ran out of road. So just dragged, just held on to that lock up for a little bit too long. Boulder wide, Paul Morris would say. Yep, just the inside front. And Jordan Love would say, thank you very much. That's the easiest pass you'll ever make when someone makes a mistake. Now we're on board with Tyler chasing Nick Rowe. <laughs> so can he move up into P4? Set a goal for Tyler this race to be in the top four. So, right. Oh, oh no. Harry, Harry, Harry. 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 The, the right rear, rear mistake. No, the right rear broke. I think maybe he's hit the curb and the right rear broke. It was bouncing around on a weird angle. He's OK. So this will be a uh, safety car or red flag, one or the other here. Well, they may, I would imagine, anyway. So was he just pushing really hard to... <laughs> Reckon they're close enough to the action here today. Our supercars media cameraman. We'll have to have a look at the replay, their final lap. So one lap to run. Let's have a look. OK, so... OK there, a lot of kerb. Oh, Whoa! wow. And that's okay. why the right rear's broken, Chad. You called it well. That'll do the job. Wow, that got some massive air. So immediately I sit there, I stand here and say, why, why can the car get so much air? I mean, if, the, if an F4 just leaving the road like that and there's a ditch that creates that much air, that's just too dangerous. So in my, my opinion, that needs to be looked at tonight when they do a circuit inspection because all he did was run all four... OK, he's had an off, but he's run all four wheels off to the left of the road, hasn't lost it, and that has launched the car. That's not good enough, and that could have been a massive accident. There was a crash at Spa in maybe a GP2 or GP3 race like that where a driver hit a kerb and just literally disappeared up into the sky. It was an absurd set of circumstances. Meanwhile, on the final lap, Jordan Love has nearly got close enough to snare this. Yes, hasn't he? Just so needed after, one more. After uh, getting a really bad start. If he can get a good exit, there's a chance. Will Brown hasn't had the best exits out of turn 13. Well, that was a cracking race, and it deserves a round of applause from the Flaggies. BRM 1, 2, 3. Brown extends the championship lead under heavy fire, and after your little pep talk, yeah. Tyler Everingham does get fourth. And Poor that... Nick Rowe. I mean, I don't know if he obviously uh, had some flat-spotted tyres. Ten cars finish the race. Top 50% switch. Nick Rowe goes to pole for race two.
So ah. that is probably not a bad tactic. One good thing at least for Nick Rowe. Cody Donald wraps up the 10, but congratulations, Will Brown. That wraps up what's been an unbelievable day on the track, Jess.